In this video, we are going to build this scroll indicator. So let's get started. All right, so here in my VS Code, I have two components. I have hero component and a customer component. It's rendered on the right side right here. It's really simple component. And it just do the height screen with full and some background color right here. So right now, let's build the indicator of each of the component right here. So for this one, I'm going to create a statics uh, components uh, array. So let's do the component. And as of now, I'm just going to put the number. So let's do 0 and 1. Later, we're going to change this one. So I'm going to use this one to render the indicator. So the components.map. And we can, we're not going to use this one. We're going to use only the index right here. And then so we're going to return a div right here. Okay. And so for this one, let's give it a key of index. And let's give a class name of width this one to 6. And height of this one to 6 as well. And I'm going to do the rounded to full. And let's do BG of this one to gray 800. Okay. And for the color of this one, you can change this one based on your application. So right now it stay at the bottom of our page. So let's move it to the right side of our screen. So for that, let's give it the class name of this one to position to fix and the right to zero and top of this one to one over two, which is 50%. So right now it's right here. I guess make this one to five. A little bit of space from the scroll bar and i'm gonna give a space of this one to three as well so it has some space right here really nice and maybe this one i can add like uh four one two three so then we can have four of this one great so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to listen to when the scroll bar so for example the scroll bar right now is on the component hero right this component if i scroll down right here so we need to know that this right now this is uh, a p on the screen so we need to update the state and change the height of our indicator right here so for that i'm going to use the frame of motion to do this one so you can install this package right here frame of motion which i already done it and so for that, let's go into uh, import it. So import motions, put motion from frame of motion. Okay. And then we're going to use it inside this one. So I'm going to put a div over the customer right here and put it inside. And we're going to use the motions div. So it's going to be motions dot div right here. So right now, I'm just going to do the hello. So you can be able to see this one right here. So you can see we have the hello right here. So I'm going to put this motion div right here into the middle of our uh, component, whatever the component that we have in here. So for that, I'm going to create the position of this one to relative. And then this one is going to be absolute. And let's do the top of this one to 40%. So let's do top. 40%. If we save this one, as you can see, we have hello right here. Very nice. So right now, we what we're going to do, we're going to intercept the hello right here. So if I scroll down, the moment that I see hello, I need to do something. So for that, we're going to listen on events, view, enter, and we can have a function right here. As of now, let's just do the console.lock uh, and enter right here. Okay. And if we inspect this one, Go to console.log. So right now, since this is enter the screen, that's why we can see the enter. So if I go up uh, and then if I go down again, and the moment we see, as you can see, it's console.log enter. So this is really nice. So later we can use this one to create the state of this our uh, app right here. And so right now, what we're gonna I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just remove the hello right here. We don't really need it. And I'm going to create a state to keep whether which a component is active. So I'm going to call it this one is the active page index or active index. Active index sets the active index. Okay. So initially, the state of this one is going to be zero. So I, I think I need to import. It's auto import. Ah. I need to update the page uh, component name right here. So right now, instead of the naming of this one, I'm going to use the component instead. So uh, for this one, I'm just going to remove the this one. And so we're going to do the customer uh, hello um, and customer right here. And so I'm going to use this one to render the component that we have. So instead of this one, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to do the components dot maps. And then so we're going to have the components and we're going to have the index. So what we're going to return is just what we written right here. 
Okay, so let's cut this one, paste it right here. And the key of this one is going to be index. Let's save this one and we're gonna use the component instead. So right now we have four components, uh, this one right here. And so right here, you can know which component that you are enter as well. So by doing the lock right here. So I'm gonna get event. I'm gonna give the ID of this one and the ID is going to be equal to index. And I need to convert this one to string. And so I'm going to do e.target.id, okay? So if I inspect this one, go to console.lock. So let's say if I scroll right here. So right now, as you can see, enter 0. If I go into the screen 2, it's going to enter 1 right here, which is really nice. So based on this one, I can use this one to update the active state right here. So for that, I'm going to set the index active right here. I need to convert this one to the number. So e dot target dot id okay so right now i can remove this one so right now we have the active index so we can use this one to change the style of our indicator so let's go into our indicator right here so for this one i'm going to use the motion diff instead of the normal diff so i'm going to do motions dot diff and let's do the initial so on initial let's do the width of this one so width and it's going to be 16 pixels do 16 pixel and the height of this one is also 16 pixel as well so 16 pixel so for that i'm going to remove this one that hit save so you can see and so we're going to animate this one so what i'm going to animate is the height only so I'm going to check if the, our index right here is equal to the active index. So if it's true, we're going to update the height of this one to 40 pixel. I'll just keep it at 16 pixel. Okay. And so right now, as you can see, we since we are on the first page, that's why it has uh, the update the height of this one. And if I scroll down to this one, the second page, it's update this one. And if I go down to this page, so as you can see, right now our indicator is working as expected. So right now, as you can see, very nice. So all you need to do right now is just update the color of this one and do more condition based on your application. So I think this is finished what our goals are right here. So hopefully you learned something from uh, this video. And all right, so I'm going to put everything, uh, the code and everything in the sky description. So you can go ahead and check it out. And let me know in the comment what you think as well. All right, so see you in the next video.